Today I have got my thoughts on the Lego Harry Potter Mini Hogwarts set 30435 and overall I actually enjoyed this build of this Mini Hogwarts castle and I think this actually makes for a really great little poly bag. If you're not wanting to spend $400 to get the giant micro scale Hogwarts castle, which I know I'm not going to get that because I don't have room for it. I mean, I love Harry Potter, but I just don't have the room for that size of castle. I mean, if it was the same price, but it was minifig scale, I would definitely probably get that, but I already have the Lion Knight's castle that's planned to go in my city, and that's the same price, and it is minifig scale, so to add something Harry Potter into the city, I am planning to actually put this as a display in my Lego store. So I figured I'd just whip through this poly bag as well and add this into the Lego store in my city. But overall for the build, I think the main one is actually not that bad for it being a micro scale Hogwarts poly bag. And on top of that, you get a Dumbledore figure, though not exclusive. I think it's a really great way to get Dumbledore if you actually collected the Hogwarts Moments books, which I've got all six and actually still have to do one more. So hopefully after I finish the Jazz Club, that'll be one of the next projects I do because I've kind of gotten back into building Lego, so happily... After I get that done, I'll be getting the last of my Harry Potter collection finished because I don't know if the Forbidden Forest set for Harry Potter will be built or not. I've had that thing sitting sealed in my backlog for about two years and it's been retired for quite a few months. So not sure on that Harry Potter set, but this one was definitely going to be built and not spending too much time in the backlog just because it was a poly bag with some extra pieces because you can actually do different versions of the Hogwarts castle and different sections so I went with the main build right from the instructions just because that was my plan from the get from the get-go with this set so pretty happy with how the set turns out and overall I think this is a really great poly bag if you're able to find it I think I found mine at my local Target and I think the poly bag is still very available even though it is a 2022 poly bag. So that's overall, I would say this is one of the best poly bags for 2022. So you guys can tell me your thoughts on this video in the comment section below and just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future.